But uh, we've had a wonderful weekend, and uh, and it really has been really has been good. So Mauricio is going to translate for me. We're just gonna we're just gonna chat here for a couple minutes, and uh, so let's get, let's get right into that. And uh, uh, here we go. There's there's Angel, and uh, <laughs> we won't we won't embarrass him. All right, let me tell you a story of hope. Let me, let me just tell you a little story of hope. It's about 2000, I don't know how you want to do this. Let's just, this is phrase by phrase. Yeah, let's just, let me just, yeah, as I pause and we'll do this here. Let me tell you a story of hope. 2,000 years ago, there were a handful of people who had a message of hope to deliver to a, to a lost city. They, they had no building to meet in. No tenían un edificio donde congregarse. Nobody wanted to help them. Nadie quería ayudarles. In fact, a few people wanted to stop them. Mucha gente querían detenerlos. But Peter and James and John, they started a church anyway. Pero Pedro, Juan y Santiago empezaron la iglesia de cualquier manera. That church happened to be in Jerusalem. Esa iglesia estaba en Jerusalén. Why? Because Jesus' message was too important and Jesus wanted them to start a church. ¿Por qué empezaron? Porque el mensaje de Dios era muy importante y ellos quisieron empezar la iglesia. And that message is still going strong today. Y ese mensaje sigue siendo fuerte hasta el día de hoy. Let me tell you another story of hope. Te voy a decir otra historia de esperanza. Nine and a half years ago, another handful of people Nueve y medio años uh, atrás, un puñado de personas had the same message. Tenían el, 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 el mismo mensaje. Had no place to meet. No tenían lugar donde eh, reunirse. So they met in a firehouse. <laughs> Se juntaron en, en la estación de bomberos. A Mexican restaurant. En el restaurante mexicano de aquí enfrente. And a few other places. Uh, Mingo Park. <laughs> <laughs> Not that very long. <laughs> Eventually, right here. Eventualmente, aquí. Nobody wanted to help us. Nadie quería ayudarnos. In fact, a few people wanted to stop us. Yes. Mucha gente nos quería detener. But we had the exact same message. Pero teníamos el exactamente el mismo mensaje. Same message that Peter and James and John. El mismo mensaje de Pedro, Juan y Santiago. Sí. Because Jesus wanted that message to get out there. Porque Jesús quería que ese mensaje estuviera en todos lados. And we're still sharing that same message. Seguimos compartiendo ese mensaje. Let me tell you another, another message of hope. Déjeme decirles otro ejemplo de esperanza. Tres años. I don't need you. <laughs> <laughs> Three years. Three years ago. <laughs> Tres años atrás. After a church service on a Sunday morning, a small group of people walked through that back door. Después de un servicio de, en, en el domingo, unas personas entraron a este edificio. They had the same message they wanted to get out to a community. Tenían el mismo mensaje que querían dar a la comunidad. They had no place to meet. No tenían lugar donde reunirse. And they thought nobody wanted to help them. Y creyeron que nadie quería ayudarles. Because they'd been a lot of places. Porque habían ido a muchos lugares. And finally they found somebody who said, yeah, absolutely, you can meet here. Y finalmente encontraron a alguien que les dijo, sí, se pueden reunir aquí. And they're still telling that same message. Y siguen dando el mismo mensaje. Now, COVID didn't help. COVID, you know, but, but uh, here's the thing. Here's the point. Our stories are not new. Nuestras historias no son nuevas. This was, the, this was Jesus' plan from the very beginning. Este es el plan que Jesús tenía desde el principio. He knew what his church was going to face. Él sabía lo que las iglesias iban a, te, a tener en contra. It was never supposed to be easy. Nunca debió, debió de haber sido fácil. If, if the plan for the church was easy... The church would never have to depend on him. Si el plan para plantar una iglesia hubiera sido fácil, las personas no hubiéramos dependido de Dios. See, if the if the plan was easy, we would think we could do it ourselves. Si el plan de Dios hubiera sido fácil, hubiéramos dicho nosotros podemos depender sin Dios y hacer una iglesia. See, in those early days, if it was easy, Tom, we would have thought we could just do it without him. 
En los días principios, si, hubiera, si todos hubiéramos querido que era fácil, hubiéramos empezado una iglesia sin Dios. See, our, our story, it's, it's, it's a lot like, you know, Abelardo's message yesterday. You, you, you spoke about the Great Commission. El hermano Abelardo predicó acerca de la Gran Comisión ayer. Matthew 20, uh, 28, 19, and 20, we won't put it up on the screen, but, but it says, go ye into all the world. Vayan a, a todo el mundo. You know, and, and, and I'm sure the disciples, when, when Jesus said, go ye into all the world, I'm sure the disciples were thinking, how are we supposed to go out into all the world? Creo que los discípulos se encontraron que cuando les dijeron que fueran a todo el mundo, ¿cómo iban a poder ir a todo el mundo ellos? They must have thought, how can we go out into all the world? Most of them had probably never been more than 15 or 20 miles away from their own home. Los discípulos creyeron, ¿cómo podemos ir a todo el mundo si quizá ellos no podían haber sido, salido de su, de su casa más de 20 millas? Most of those disciples didn't even know how far away the rest of the world was. Muchos de esos discípulos, los discípulos no sabían qué tan grande es el mundo en ese tiempo. So for them, that probably seemed like a crazy thought to go take his message into the entire world. But Jesus had a plan. Pero Jesús tenía un plan. So his plan actually continues. The Great Commission continues in Acts chapter number one. Su plan continúa después de la Gran Comisión en Hechos número uno, capítulo so, cuatro. Acts chapter no, number one and verse number four. Notice he said, and being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but notice the next word, wait. That's the key word, wait for the promise of the Father, which saith he, ye have heard of me. The key word there is wait. Y estando juntos les mandó que no se fueran a Jerusalén, sino que esperaran la promesa del Padre del cual les dijo, oísteis, oísteis de mí. Y la palabra clave en este versículo es esperar. What are they waiting for? They're waiting for the Holy Spirit. ¿Qué esperaban? Esperaban al Espíritu Santo. See, they, he was telling them they had to wait for the Holy Spirit because the plan he had, they had to have the Holy Spirit in order to do it. Les dijo que tenían que esperar porque tenían que tener al Espíritu Santo antes de empezar el plan que Jesús tenía para ellos. See, church, we can't do this without the Holy Spirit. Iglesia, no podemos hacer esto si no tenemos al Espíritu Santo. Because it's hard. Porque es difícil. It's hard. Reaching the world is hard. Alcanzar al mundo es difícil. And the only way to do it is with the Holy Spirit's power. La única manera que lo podemos hacer es con el Espíritu Santo. That's why he then said in verse number 8... He said, but if you'll wait, you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. En el versículo 8 dice, pero recibirás poder cuando hayas venido sobre vosotros el Espíritu Santo. Now watch, here's the exciting part. And here's how we bring all this together. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, and notice the next word, both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. That's where we tied this back into what Jesus said before. He said, you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in, in, the, and in Judea and in Samaria and in the uttermost part of the earth. Esta es la parte clave del mensaje. Y Jesús les dice, y, si me, ser, y, si, y me seréis testigo en Jerusalén y en toda Judea, en Samaria y hasta el último de la tierra. So, no, so now the disciples are thinking this. How can I be in both Jerusalem and in Judea? Ahora los discípulos se preguntaban, ¿cómo voy a poder estar en Jerusalén o en Judea? In Jerusalem y en Judea en el mismo tiempo. ¿Cómo I, I, don't, I don't need you, I already said it. <laughs> How can I be? Está bien. I love it. <laughs> he was getting ready to say it in English, wasn't he? <laughs> it's like who's on first <laughs> second base third base no. see how can he be in how can they be in, in how can I be in Jerusalem I'm sure Peter's sitting there thinking how can I be in Jerusalem how can I be a witness in Jerusalem and in Judea at the same time how can I be in Jerusalem and in Samaria how can I be a witness in both places how can I be in both of those places here's Here's the beauty of it. Here's, here's the beautiful part of Jesus' plan. Because that's what Jesus was saying. He was saying, listen, you're going to be a witness for me. You're not just going to be a witness for me in Jerusalem. This is where they were. They were in Jerusalem. 
You know, the, the, uh, the, the, they were, they were going to be a witness for in Jerusalem and in Judea, both in Jerusalem and in Samaria, both in Jerusalem and in, and in the uttermost part of the earth. And you know, the, the really crazy thing is they probably didn't even know where the uttermost part of the earth was. But these disciples are trying to figure out what it was that Jesus was saying. He's getting ready to go back to heaven here. And he's telling them, you're going to be witnesses for me all over this world. And they don't even know where all over this world is. Dios, Jesús estaba diciendo a los discípulos que cómo iban a ser posible que los tenían que estar en ambos lugares al mismo tiempo. Antes de subir al cielo, les tenía que explicar qué es lo que tenían que hacer. And I'm sure that Peter is thinking, how can I be in Jerusalem y en Judea en el mismo tiempo? Es imposible. It means it's impossible. Yeah. Just helping you out there. Because I wasn't sure if he knew what that meant. <laughs> Here's the beauty. Here's the beauty of Jesus' plan. Es la belleza del plan de Dios. And here's the beauty of what we have gotten to experience this weekend. Y esta es la belleza de lo que hemos experimentado este fin de semana. That frankly, most churches never, ever will get to experience because we always, because most churches get so wrapped up in themselves. Quizá mucha gente, muchas iglesias no, no, no van a poder experimentar lo que hemos experimentado nosotros porque and, ellos mismos solamente piensan en, en, en ellos mismos. And for whatever reason... Jesus somehow in his grace and mercy decided to strip away at least most of my stupidity for a brief period of time to let me at least see this. At some point in our church's history, that we were able to get out of our own stupidity to see the beauty of what Jesus allowed us to get to this point in, our, in, 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 in church and get, get rid of this stuff that limits churches, that we got to experience this. So watch this. We get to do something this weekend that most churches will never get to do. Pudimos ver so, esta, este fin de semana algo que muchas iglesias no, puede, no, no han podido no, y no van a poder ver. I didn't hear stupid though in there anywhere. <laughs> Did, I skipped that part. <laughs> See, he's, he's not saying everything I'm saying, is he? No, I do. <laughs> he understands stupid anyway, so... <laughs> If we could travel back to Jerusalem 2,000 years-ish, I'm going to tell you what, they would, what we would find. Si podemos regresar a ese tiempo, hace 2,000 años en Jerusalén. We find these apostles with people from all over the world all gathered together in one place. Encontramos estos apóstoles con gente alrededor, muchísima gente alrededor de todo el mundo. It was Pentecost, so it was a special time, but there were people gathered all of, from all over the world in one place in one time. El día de Pentecostés, cuando todas las personas de todo el mundo se acercaron a ese lugar una sola vez. So they spoke all these languages, se all in one place. Idiomas. And, and God spoke through Peter, but they all heard in their own language. Yeah, y, y escucharon por Pedro, pero cada una de esas personas escucharon en su propio idioma. Same message. Same mensaje. But their own language. Pero su propio lenguaje. Some of them obviously spoke Hebrew and went back to Judea, and some went to Samaria, but the rest of them went to the uttermost parts of the earth. Algunos hablaban hebreo y se fueron a, a Judea, y todos los demás que no eran de esas regiones se fueron a, a los idiomas de todo el mundo. And they took that message all over the earth. Y tomaron el mensaje a toda la tierra. Just like Jesus said they would. Así como Jesús les dijo que iba a ser. Now, that message has been going all around the world ever since. Ese mensaje ha pasado todo, todo el mundo desde este día hasta hoy. Now, that was a special time, and that's not that, it, that does not happen like that anymore. Ese fue un día especial, pero ya no pasa más ahora en este tiempo. But we still get to be a part of something very special today. Because watch this. Delaware, Columbus, Dublin, Powell, this area around here, this is our Jerusalem. 
Porque esta área donde vivimos, que es Delaware, Columbus, Dublin, Powell, esta es nuestro Jerusalén. But people who don't speak English, they're like Samaria to me. Pero las personas que no hablan inglés es como si fueran las personas de Samaria para mí. They're like the uttermost parts of the earth to me. Es como si fuera de otra parte de, de la tierra. I can't reach them. No los puedo alcanzar. But he can. Pero Israel puede. But Abelardo can. Abelardo puede. And Angel can. Angel puede. And Job can. Job puede. And la Iglesia Nueva Esperanza can. Y la Iglesia Nueva Esperanza puede. And so, while the Holy Spirit is speaking to me to de in Delaware in English, in this place, he can also be speaking to them in Spanish in this same place at the same time, and we together are fulfilling Acts chapter 1 and verse number 8. Yes, yes. El Espíritu Santo me llena de mí para predicarle a ustedes en inglés en esta iglesia. So we, we are witnesses unto Jesus both in Jerusalem and in Judea and the uttermost parts of the earth. Así que ambas iglesias somos testigos de que el Espíritu Santo estamos ayudando a ambas iglesias como si fuera Judea o, o, o Judea. Do you know that in this room today we have five different nations represented here? Ustedes saben que en este lugar tenemos cinco naciones representativas. Just today. Solamente hoy. Just today. And we don't even have... How many different nations are represented in, in, in uh, Israel? How many different uh, nations do you think come to your church, may, are represented? You have El Salvador? Guatemala? Guatemala? Mexico? Honduras? Honduras? Panama? Salvador? Not yet. Oh, I love that. Not yet. Not yet. I must to come. More to come. See? West. I, don't, I don't know if we have anybody that speaks West Virginia yet. But, but maybe we can work on that. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you get it? Do you get it? Si nos entienden. See? This is, this is how it works. This is the point. See, we, we, the, the point is, this is what Jesus' plan was. Amen. See, we're getting to do something that, that Jesus wanted to have happen. See, I, I, you know, see, all we need now is somebody who can speak Chinese. Ese es el plan de Jesús, y ahora solo lo que necesitamos es alguien que hable chino. Maybe some, did you say cappuccino? <laughs> hable chino. I already speak cappuccino. <laughs> I speak that, well, I used to speak that fluently before this. Um, so, you know, sign language? I think I learned sign language. Alguien que hable para los, you know, los sordomudos? Yeah, the, and, and, and seriously, you know, if you follow what's going on in Christianity today, si ustedes siguen lo que está pasando en la cristianidad en estos días. It, let me say this. You know, it's no secret. I've been, I've been talking so much the last few months about, with our church, about the heart of God. You know, we get so focused on man's perspective. We read our Bibles from man's perspective. We read about it, about how it pertains to us and what can God do for me and what do I want from God and what should God do. And, you know, and we, we never stop to think about what does God feel. Nos, I'm trying to get us to think about what does God feel. Nos enfocamos más en, en, en solamente leer la Biblia y aplicarlas a nosotros, a nosotros, a nosotros, pero nunca nos preguntamos qué es lo que Jesús siente y quiere de nosotros. You know, we get we get so focused on on God being this big, strong, powerful God that you know He's you know God can do anything. God's yes, He is. He is a big, strong, powerful God, and yes, He can do anything. Dios es alguien que nosotros lo vemos como muy poderoso y esperamos que haga todo, todo, todo. Sí, Él puede hacer todo por nosotros, pero... But he's also a broken hearted father. Pero también es un padre que está roto de su corazón. 
He's also a broken-hearted father watching his children fight with each other. Mirando a sus hijos peleándose entre ellos mismos. He's also a broken-hearted father watching his children in church denominations splitting. Sí, es un padre que está roto del corazón por las denominaciones que se destrozan. Pointing fingers at each other and, and accusing each other. Apuntándose otros y acusándose uno a otro. Do you think that maybe for a few moments yesterday and today he's watching two of his churches come together? ¿Ustedes creen que no estaría Dios que por unos minutos vio cómo dos iglesias ayer y hoy se juntaron y formarse juntas una a la otra? Maybe he's proud. Quizá está orgulloso. Maybe he's happy. Quizá está feliz. Maybe he says they're trying to do something good. Quizá él dice, están tratando de hacer algo bueno. Maybe there's a little joy in heaven. Quizá es a un poco de gozo en el cielo en estos momentos. So let's don't mess that up. Así que no hay que regarla. Let's don't mess that up. No hay que equivocarnos. Let's, let's give him more reasons to be happy. Let's work Vamos together. Vamos a darle más reasons al Señor para que esté feliz. Let's work together. Vamos a trabajar juntos. Let's pray together. Vamos a orar juntos. And serve together. Servir juntos. Amen. And so, new hope. Let's let's tell the let's tell the community that there's a Spanish speaking church right here every Saturday morning where they can come and hear the message of the gospel. Iglesia de Nuevo, vamos a decirle a toda la gente que habla que habla español alrededor de esta iglesia, de alrededor de este lugar que hay una iglesia que cada los sábados se reúnen aquí. Okay? And let's keep doing what we do. Y vamos a continuar haciendo lo que hacemos. Let's reach the lost. Vamos a alcanzar a los perdidos. Let's do our part. Vamos a hacer Until nuestra Jesus parte. Comes. Hasta que Jesús venga.